I never thought that I would get to do the things that I've done or go to places that I've been. I am not playing for somebody to give me the accolades or something like that. I am not doing that. I'm doing that from in here. A Mobile native's talent on the drums has taken him to places he's never dreamed. Yeah, John Jabo Stark says he started banging on things around the house at an early age, but it wasn't until a Mardi Gras parade that he realized he wanted to be a drummer. Starks recently sat down with our Eric Reynolds to share about his amazing career with three music legends. Here's the interview. I went to Mardi Gras and I heard this drummer and I just followed him for about a mile or so watching him play and listening to him and I just said then that I, I want to do what he's doing and I just started I knew that I wanted to play that snare drum the same way I heard him play it. The impression made on John Starks that Mardi Gras Day helped launch a music career. Starks talent on the drums has taken him from Mobile Volta la televisione italiana. to performances around the world. He's played in the band of three musical greats. Stark's interest in the drums started at a young age. My mother said I'd always been banging around in the household stuff. I had the sticks myself. There was a piece of inner tube that was tied to a board tight, and that would be like a drum pad. And that's when I would start playing on that too. Starks moved to Jackson, Alabama, where he learned from local music legends E.B. Coleman and Hubert Stanfield. He believes they saw potential in his playing. After high school, he returned to Mobile to attend the branch, today known as Bishop State. There was music in Mobile every night. Somebody was playing. I started going around to the different places, listening to different guys play. I would go and ask if they would let me play. I always asked questions. I was blessed. I had a gift. They'd tell me what, show me what they were doing. I'd go back and work on it, and I'd have it. And then we just started playing. I have a good ear for it. I do. Starks played with several local bands. At 18, he was asked to join the Castanets. At one mobile performance, the band backed up blues great Bobby Bland. In the 60s, if you talk about blues, Bobby Bland was in the blues. They were looking for a band. They didn't want to go, but then they called back and said, you think that drummer wants to go? And I said, that was it. <laughs> I pack up, I wanted to go. Everybody in the band was older than I was. Those guys helped to teach me a lot of stuff that I didn't know. Musically, I had one of the best times playing with Bobby Bland. His drumming caught the attention of another music legend. James Brown. <laughs> Anytime he was anywhere near, I was like he would send one of his people to talk to me and ask me if I wanted to come and play with him. And James was not a blues artist. He was close to a rock, rock, and, rock and roll. James kept after me. Starks was having fun. Money was not an issue. But things changed in 1962. My wife and I had, had our first child. Then it became a business with me. I had a family. He asked Bobby Bland for a salary, but Bland's record company said no. Jane Brown asked me again and said, I'll double whatever they think they can give you. I said, well, I have to have a salary per week. He said, that's nothing. I'll take care of it. With James, there was a complete difference. I had to adjust my way of playing to his style of, of music. It was an exciting time because everything was built around James. When he hit the stage, you the man, it was phenomenal. With James, it was always upbeat, it just a driving force. And he had that energy for them. And that band had to have the energy behind him. Stark spent 12 years with James Brown making hit music, traveling the world, sold out concerts, even two movies. After that, I went with B.B. King for six years. I played the blues, then I played James, then I go back to playing the blues. It was a good gig with B.B., but it was not the type of blues gig that I was playing with Bobby Bland. You can hear the difference in the blues singing because with B.B., it was strictly him in front with his guitar. It was a good experience. I enjoyed working with him. It all started roughly 60 years ago, and Starks is still drumming today. 
I started playing in the church after I came off the road. I'm giving back, I think, because the Lord has blessed me. I never dreamed, I never thought that I would get to do the things that I've done or go to places that I've been. And I am not playing for somebody to give me the accolades or something like that. I'm doing that from in here. I love it. I love playing up church, praising the Lord. And, and, and they, they, it, it's not a show. It's not a game, but the series. In Mobile, Eric Reynolds, Fox 10 News. Starks drive to Grayton Beach, Florida every Sunday morning to play drums at the 8 a.m. service at Ebenezer Baptist Church in Mobile. Stark celebrated his 75th birthday last month and received a Lifetime Achievement Award at the University of Wisconsin from Yamaha Drums. And if, you ever, if you're ever in Grayton Beach, you can catch John Jabo Stark still playing his drums several days a week at the Piccolo Restaurant and Red Bar. Something to keep in mind. And in case you want to...